Hello you guys, it's your girl Finale Quo and I'm back with another video and this video is all about things you can do when you go to Sierra Leone. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna give you like five cool things that you can do when you go to Sierra Leone, you guys. And the first thing is, you can go to Malama Thomas. Malama Thomas is not a person, it's like an area, like a street area with like a lot of vendors, a lot of what they call junks, which is kind of like thrift stores, consignment stores. Basically they sell like used clothing, really cool stuff, y'all. Really cool stuff. Do not underestimate the Junks clothing in Sierra Leone because they sell really cool stuff. Malama Thomas also has like so many beautiful fabrics. If you're shopping for fabrics, that's where everyone in Sierra Leone goes to shop for fabrics. They have beautiful fabrics. You can buy so many yards of fabrics. They have a lot of just different things from locals and all of that. Just be careful when you're there um, so that you don't get robbed. Okay, <laughs> so the next thing you can do in Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone is well known for our beautiful beaches. So there's like so many beaches, like they're called like beach number one, beach number two, things like that. And by the beaches, they also have like really cool, nice places to eat. There was a beach, I don't remember what beach number it was, but it was by this restaurant called Franco's. And like, it's like a resort and like restaurant. They had like really good like crab, lobster, like peppered, um, lobster like fish like mango juice i love mango juice and it was just a really nice place to be at the next thing i would say third thing you can do in Sierra Leone outside of malama thomas and beaches the third thing you can do in Sierra Leone is you can go upline go visit your farm them go visit your village um i went upline and you can watch that in my Sierra Leone vlog which i'll link down below with my other Sierra Leone videos and that experience changed my life like meeting the kids in the village that like my family is from like that really touched me like to this day whenever i feel like discouraged i just go back and watch the videos of those kids that i met in the village because that was just it was just an amazing experience and a lot of the kids they didn't even know like English, they didn't even know Creole, they didn't even know their ages, but we were still able to like build a bond and that was just so powerful to me. Okay, the fourth thing you can do is you can go to Cheram, you can go to Tupati, aka you can go to the club. Okay, so Sierra Leone has like really nice clubs, like Sierra Leone is up to party, so they got the clubbing down pat, so you will not be disappointed at any party you go to, any club you go to, it's gonna be lit, there's gonna be some ballers there, so make sure you look good girl, there's um, clubs by the beaches, club outside, and yo, like, they play good, like, the music? Like, yo, like, one of the best DJs I've ever heard was in Sierra Leone when I went there. Like, they had, like, the American, the reggae, the Sierra Leone. Like, they mix stuff nice. They have some really good DJs there. So you can go to clubs. And last but not least, I had to put something, like, historical in here. You can go to Banana Island. You can go to places where they had, like, you know, more history about, like, our past, like Sierra Leone's, like, you know, the slave trade, a lot of slaves were taken from Sierra Leone. Banana Island is a good place to go to just really dive into, like, the culture and, like, the history of Sierra Leone, like, in the conjunction to, like, slavery and things like that. So, if you want to get just, like, you know, a day where you're doing, like, historical things, I would say go to Banana Island because that's where all the historical stuff is. There's historical stuff all around, of course, but I just think that's, like, a really good experience. I actually did not get to go, and I really wish I could have gone. But um, I've watched so many videos on it that I have to tell you guys like to go because it just seems like a really good like experience. So that's it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and watch all my other Australian videos down below. I have two vlogs and I have a video about what to know before going to Sierra Leone and it's all linked down below. So thank you guys for watching. Bye! Say hi. He's too, he's too cool. <laughs>